Hello all, it's Terhi here. I'm showing you the basics of using pan pastel colors today. And I'm starting with uh, showing you the tools. I'm using soft tools which are made for pan pastels. They are much uh, bigger than uh, make a sponge or some other sponge. So they are very good for this use. Uh, pan pastels are very versatile and now I'm going to show you why. The pan pastels looks like a eyeshadow or blush or something, uh, but you can use them just like you use paints. You can uh, mix them, you can layer them, you can do anything with them. As you see, I add a layer of yellow pan pastel and now I'm adding a stripe of washi tape and adding some red pan pastel. Uh, red and yellow makes orange and as you see when I'm uh, mixing these colors together I'm receiving great and nice ombre effect to my bag. Uh, cleaning your tools is easy, you just wipe them onto a paper towel and if they are very messy you can use water with them but that's it, super easy. For this second tag I'm using blue and yellow and I'm using also this color, colorized blender uh, to make this wonderful uh, green tone. I'm coloring the whole bag and these pan pastels can be erased with a regular eraser. So I'm taking a stencil, which is from Create a Smile, and then I'm going to erase my pan pastel. Uh, it, it, it creates a nice texture and nice detail, so um, this is one of the reasons why I love pan pastels. So now you know how the pan pastels works in, uh, on a basic paper surface. But now I'm showing you how it works on gesso or any other medium surface. I'm adding a thin layer of gesso to a stencil, uh, the same stencil from Create Smile, and I'm letting it dry completely. It's important to use a completely dry surface when using pan pastels. I'm adding another layer of uh, this uh, green green pan pastel shade, um, the white areas from uh, last layer is still showing. And now that I have gesso under it, I can use baby wipe, baby wipe to erase the pan pastel so it's even easier than with the eraser. Just um, add the stencil on and then erase the color. Of course, you can use this without the stencil, but I want to make uh, these cool patterns on top of the gesso layer. Now, if your pan pastels are looking as messy as mine, you can just wipe with your soft tool um, to color off and then use paper towel to clean your soft tool. You can also use a paper towel to cl uh, clean your pan pastels, but I prefer using a soft tool for this one. Uh, now I'm using how to use Versamark ink with pan pastels. I'm just stamping with a regular uh, Versamark ink and then swiping gently uh, pan pastel on top of the stamped, the stamped area. Uh, it gets the color even deeper uh, and richer and it, it, it's a nice way to use stamps with pan pastel. Another easy way to use stamps with pan pastels is to just stamp the image and then color it with pan pastels. Uh, I'm hoping to receive a kind of brownish uh, color with only using blue, cre uh, blue um, red and yellow. Uh, and mixing them together with the blender again. Um, now it looks kind of purple, but <laughs> I'm adding more red to receive this kind of brownish orange color. Um, 
I'm using the smallest subtool. Um, uh, you can make really small details with this, but I'm um, coloring the whole whole flower with this. Uh, for the other flower, I'm adding more yellow. Um, and even though I used yellow before, I can use it again and it will create a much deeper look. Uh, pan pastels need some kind of fixative on top of them, so you can use any fixative you have. I'm not preferring hairspray because hairspray has um, lots of other other chemicals which can harm your artwork later. But as you see, you can layer them together and it creates a nice nice detail center. Pan pastels are available in over 100 colors, so you can actually have any color you wish to have to any of your projects. Um, now I'm um, adding a thin, thin layer of black pan pastel to the edges of these tags. Uh, so just the same way as you use any uh, inks or anything, but these pan pastels give a much softer look. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little trip to pan pastel world. Uh, if you have any um, questions about it, you can email me or leave comment or um, visit panpastel.com. Um, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and please join our giveaway to win some pan pastels for your own. Thank you for watching and bye!